Hey, I'm hanging out here with Bob Peralt and his 1928 Ford pickup. It's pretty pretty impressive truck here. How uh, how did you get this? How did you get this truck? Well, I bought it a piece at a time. I bought a one-ton truck and took the cab off of it. Then I bought a new chassis for it, and then slowly bought all the pieces to put it together. And did you do all the work yourself? I have a friend that helps me quite a bit, and he actually can think. I I can do the work if he'll tell me what to do, but he has to think. What kind of stuff did you do to the truck? Uh, everything from painting and wiring and assembly. Put the glass in it. What about the engine? Uh, the engine's out of a 95 Chevy van. It has air conditioning, heater, it's overdrive, has a quick change rear end. So do you drive it? We've been about 2,000 miles with it since it was together. That's pretty good. Thanks. All right, now I hear you're famous for Selling expensive junk, is that yeah. true? Junk is what it is. Unless you need it, it doesn't mean anything. So you have to find somebody that's in wanting to convert his car to that. And the gauges will work in any year. All right, well, let's go check out Bob's junk. All right, so what's this award over here on the table? Uh, last year I had a 1932 school bus here. It's called Goose Creek Penitentiary. And Troy Trepania gave me that award for the bus. And uh, you got some pretty interesting gauges. What's all that about? Oh, uh, it's just a hobby I've had, and they're easy to pick up and haul around, and they don't use up much space. Slowly, they've been raising in price. Originally, they were cheap. It's like this one big panel. That's out of a military truck. Then this is out of an asphalt paving truck. And this is out of a Stuart Warner calibration machine, which is 750. I would take more. I don't know if I take less. You would take more. More. Yeah. And then this is original, like a 1945 to 55 speedometer. And this is out of a police car. It'd be a 56 Buick or 57 Buick. This one's out of a fire truck where instead of mileage, it's showing you hours. When I sell these little pieces, you put a clock in there. It looks like a quick change rear end that goes underneath the car. It's all sorts of little vintage knick-knack pieces. Junk. Junk. Well, I thought, okay. So if, if anyone has a car that they're trying to redo and restore classic, you know, the original way it was built, they can call you up and see if you got the parts? Usually it wouldn't be for a restoration. It would be somebody building a hot rod and they want to make it a certain era, whether it's a 50s or a 60s, then they'll pay more money than a, a restoration guy. It has to be the correct piece for the correct year. Oh, cool. Well, Bob, thank you so much for taking the time, and best of luck to you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. I'm Amber Getz for HubGarage.com. Hello, this is Bob Peralt, and you're watching HubGarage.com.